You, O oh Lord, are close, and though your ways are truth, from of old I have known of your decrees, for you are eternal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to make ready the paths of your only begotten Son, that through his coming we may be found worthy to save you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, your God, who grasp your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not, I will help you. <clears throat> fear not, O worm Jacob, O maggot Israel. I will help you, says the Lord. Your redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. I will make of you a threshing sledge, sharp, new, and double-edged, to thresh the mountains and crush them, to make the hills like chaff. When you winter them, the wind shall carry them off, and the storm shall scatter them. But you shall rejoice in the Lord, and glory in the Holy One of Israel. The afflicted and the needy seek water in vain, their tongues are parched with thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open up rivers on the bare heights and fountains in the broad valleys. I will turn the desert into a marshland and the dry ground into springs of water. I will plant in the desert the cedar, acacia, myrtle and olive. I will set in the wasteland the cypress, together with the plane tree and the pine, that all may see and know, observe and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this. The Holy One of Israel has created it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The, the Lord, Lord is, is merciful and, and merciful, gracious, slow, slow to, to anger, anger and great and kindness. kindness. I will extol you, O my God and King. I will bless your name forever and ever. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all its works. The Lord, the Lord is, is gracious, gracious and, and merciful, merciful, slow to, to anger, anger and, and of great, great kindness. kindness. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let, them dis let the discourse of the glory of your kingdom 
and speak of your might. The, the Lord, Lord is gracious and merciful, and merciful slow, slow to anger, anger and of great kindness. kindness. Let them make known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The, the Lord, Lord is gracious, gracious and merciful, and merciful slow, slow to anger, and, and of great kindness. Alleluia, alleluia. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent are taking it by force. All the prophets and the law prophesied up to the time of John, and if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah, the one who is to come. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. This morning we are blessed with a heavy downpour. I'm glad we are able to make it to church. This speaks volumes about your commitment to daily masses. Thank you. Jesus affirms the greatness of John the Baptist, saying, Truly, I tell you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. What makes John the Baptist the great? The greatness of John the Baptist lies in his different qualities from which we can learn. First, John was great because he loved silence. He lived in the desert and in the silence of the desert, he was able to enter into the depth of his heart and ask himself certain fundamental questions regarding his life, such as, who am I? Why am I here on earth? What am I called to do? Etc., etc. And in this way, he went through the process of discernment regarding his own vocation. So my dear friends, moments of silence are so precious and important in our lives. In the noise that surrounds you in the family, in the workplaces, it is very important that you seek a secluded place in solitude, contemplate about your life and destiny, because it is in silence that God speaks to us. Second, John was great because he was a man totally free from any type of identity crisis. He never measured success in life in terms of rich food, fine clothing, or comfortable shelter. He only lived in the desert, his clothes were animal skin, and lived on locust and honey for his food. He did not allow, he did not follow the maddening clouds in running after wealth, pleasures, name, or fame. So it teaches us that to be free and committed to the task, we must live like him. We must shun certain things that are likely to distract our attention. And finally, John teaches us that humility is 
a hallmark to greatness. He honestly admitted the fact that he was not the Messiah, but only a voice crying in the wilderness, unworthy even to untie the sandal straps of his master. He was detached, humble, happy, free, strong, and brave. May God give us the same qualities so that when he comes again, you may find us ready to receive and confess him as did John the Baptist. Amen. Assured that God is with us, let us join our hearts in prayer as we present our needs to the Father. For church leaders, may the Lord strengthen them in their mission of bringing the light of Christ to a weary world. We pray to the Lord. For those who are called to lead others, may the Lord guide them in being examples of peace and selfish giving and service to their people. We pray to the Lord. For those who are experiencing financial difficulties, loneliness, illness, or other challenges during this season of hope and giving, we pray to the Lord. For those of us gathered here today, may the grace of this sacrament transform us in the image of Christ's love and mercy. We pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, especially Dr. Philip Ponopio, for whom this Mass is offered, may they soon rest in the loving arms of God. We pray to the Lord. For the special and personal petitions that we present in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your faithful. We ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed that his first coming, the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without the end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that it may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Thomas our Bishop, Eduardo his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. O the Savior is commanded and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said it to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us live justly and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope and the coming of the glory of our great God. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who pour about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day. Thank you.